All right, buddy. Okay, stage one. We're gonna keep everybody alive, and um, we're gonna go. We're gonna play in duo mode as well because you need to do an entire playthrough in duo mode uh, to get together till the end. So we'll start the game in duo mode. I'll I'll show you how to do it. Um, but mainly the ones we're gonna be focusing on getting our uncontrollable. Um, Saving everybody, Iden's apocalypse, and because I don't know, uh, we'll get yeah, we'll get explored then in this one, and then we'll also get the end for getting one ending. So we're basically just doing the save everyone ending, and then we're also gonna grab some bonuses and some other stuff along the way. So we'll also be playing in dual mode. So I'll I'll show you how to do that in a sec, basically. But before I, I say this though, you have to play the entire game through duo mode. So you gotta. Go to the main menu, change your mode to duo mode, then start a new game. You can't do chapter select and start in the first chapter. So you gotta start a new game if you beat it already, or just start the game in duo mode. And then you have to play to the end. So if you get off the game and then go back in, it'll put you in solo, so you gotta change it back to duo again. And how do you change it to duo? I'll show you right now. Go to game mode in the main menu, switch it over to duo, put a first controller on Jody, second controller Aiden. If you don't have a second controller, to play with your device, please connect the Beyond Touch app thing or whatever. And then you can do like separate difficulties or anything. Anyways, new game, there you go. And then as soon as you start the game in duo mode, you'll get two souls. So boom, already won. And we haven't even started the chapter yet. There you go. And then once we do uh, the experiment chapter, um, so this is like the first one, we have the where you get control of Aiden. Uh, go into the room where Cole's flashing for some reason. Head into the corner behind these two desks and you'll find the first of 20 bonuses that we need to find for Explorer. There are 22 bonuses, but you get two for beating the game, so we only need to find 20. And there's the first one. So there you go. And then, also, while we're in the uh, experiment chapter, we can start, we do the first thing that we need to do to get uncontrollable, which is... When you're asked to knock over the blocks in Kathleen's room, just keep messing with her. Just keep messing around with stuff, because Cole will ask you to move more stuff around. And then you just gotta knock, like, use Aiden to, like, hit everything that you see. So the cards, the files in the corner, and then the desk, and then the chair, and the camera. Whatever you see, just start, like, smacking it around. And then you'll freak Kathleen out. She'll just start like, ah, there's a ghost. There's a ghost. And, uh, yeah, I, I was just looking for stuff to hit. I, I couldn't find anything. You just crack the windows. Basically, she'll just like try to get out of the room, but the, the doorknob will be like jammed or something, and she'll think it's locked, and she'll think she's stuck in a room with some weird spirit thing. So she'll start freaking out. And then you just keep messing around with the stuff in the room until she... Because she'll just keep trying the doorknob, even though it's not working. But eventually, she'll get, like... I don't know what's wrong with her, but she'll just, like, stand up against the door and stop trying to open it. So, like, look at her. And then she'll move over... She'll, just, like, shuffle over to her left, like, in front of the window... And then w when she does that, her aura around her, right now it's blue, but when she shovels over, it'll turn red. And then if you haven't played Beyond Two Souls before, when there's a red aura around someone, you can use an item to choke them. And that's basically what we want to do. So well, you just got to like stall or mess around a bit until she actually starts shuffling over. So she, there she does her last attempt to open the door and then she shuffles over in front of the window and then boom, you can interact with her because she's red. And then boom, you just choke her out. And then you'll, and that's the first thing, the first evil thing that you gotta do is hide and to get uncontrollable. There's six things you gotta do, but that's the first one. And then you'll also, at the end of the chapter, you'll get somebody else, question mark, which it's a bronze trophy, which you get, you get it because um, you played as Iden for the first time. So if you've already done a playthrough, you already have, you already have that one, sorry. But, you know. And then uh, moving on to the uh, embassy chapter. Um, when you get control of Aiden while Jody's in the bathroom, you can get another bonus for Explorer. The second bonus you need, if you just go to the entrance where Jody and Ryan came in, there'll be a bonus right around the right corner. So just pick that up, and then you'll be good. And uh, I, I do think that there's another bonus, the third one. Yeah, there's another bonus, and it's in the upstairs area in the Sheik's office. 
And if you don't know where the Sheik's office is, you just go straight up the stairs, and then it's the room across, like directly across from the stairs. So head into this room, and then look in the right corner of the room behind the table with all the chairs, and there'll be another bonus there. So there you go. And there are two trophies for completing the embassy mission in two separate ways, but we're not going to get that because uncontrollable requires you to finish the chapter without completing the mission. So we're locked from getting those two trophies, but we'll, we can do that later. So basically, the second evil thing we need to do for uncontrollable in the embassy chapter is instead of um, doing what the mission asks and uh, finding the file and the safe in the Sheik's office that we were just in to get the collectible from, um, you have to actually go up and possess this guard that's just standing next to the second balcony with the chandelier in front of it. And when you possess him, you have to walk towards the balcony and it's like in front of the stairs. And then interact with that. And then he'll start climbing over it. And then Jody will be like, Stop! Don't do that! And then there'll be a thing where you can move the stick to get down, but you gotta actually... Um, do the motion control to shake it downwards, and then he'll jump off the uh, railing, and then there you go. That's the second. You'll fail the mission, but you'll get the second requirement done for uncontrollable, and then you can finish off the chapter. And then we'll get the other two trophies for completing that later. And then we go to the party, and then wait till we get pranked by the teenagers, and get to choose to get revenge on them. And then basically you just gotta go mess with them, and you can just like keep messing with them until Jody leaves, and then they'll just stand there. I don't know if they like die or something, but uh, Kirsten's mom will come back and be like, "Jody, what happened?" And then she'll be like, oh, "Kirsten, no!" And I don't know why, but um, you won't get uncontrollable. Like it won't count if you just get revenge and then keep beating them up until they don't come out of the house. So the uncontrollable requirement that we need to do is to mess with them until you have the option to set the house on fire. So you can beat them up, but apparently that's not evil enough for Aiden. Like you can literally like, uh, what's that one? The blonde kid is from London, Matt. You can throw a kitchen knife into his shoulder and that's not evil enough for Aiden. You have to burn the house down. So basically, you just got to keep messing with them until uh, the stove lets you turn it on. So just keep like f messing with those people. See, like I checked the stove right there, but it wasn't working. So you should keep checking on the stove occasionally until it lets you interact with it. So if it doesn't, just go mess around. I check it again. It doesn't work. I think it'll only like let you turn the stove on if Matt is... Um, in front of it so like yeah hiding behind the little counter there and then because you have the option to interact with the knives then but you also can turn the stove on so you got to turn it on and then you got to interact with it again to like i don't know make the flames jump and then they'll sit around for a while and then uh the kids will leave the house after a bit so you just got to wait for them to leave and it'll work he's he's standing in the coffee table what is this Then when the chapter ends, you'll get revenge. Which, I mean, that's pretty well deserved, to be honest. Those kids are assholes. <laughs> Anyways, in the first interview chapter, we can get the fourth bonus at the very beginning. Uh, right outside the waiting room, the bonus will just be sitting on the ground next to the wall. So you just go pick that up and then you'll only need 16 more bonuses to collect. And then the two that you get for, or when you beat the game. And then you'll be done explorer. Uh, and then now we're moving on to Welcome to the CIA. 
and we're getting fight apprentice perfect soldier and i think stealth apprentice so basically these are all for doing the cia training uh without failing any of them or uh by failing as little as possible so for uh perfect soldier you're gonna need to do most of the um physical training successfully so uh that's what's going on right now in this clip this is some physical training so we just gotta complete this and then there'll be some more and then for fight apprentice we have to one every fight while taking less than five hits and i think that it's less than five hits per fight not in total because i i think in one of the training fights i i took like four hits and then in another one i took like three and then still got the trophy afterwards so i'm, I'm pretty sure it's less than five hits in each fight so here's the first one in the beginning it'll tell you like how to do it so you just like follow along what it's saying and then so here it's like explaining how to do it and then it'll show you which direction you need to do so the first couple i don't think you really can fail it because it it shows you what to do and then it, i think it waits for you to move the stick anyway so um oh yeah if you didn't know if like you're completely new to beyond two souls and you have not played it at all and you're just using this they get the platinum straight away um you got to use the right stick and move it in whatever direction um i put it in the wrong direction there um for the qts and if you are having trouble with this one like if uh fire apprentice is giving you trouble you can change your difficulty in the options menu and put it to i rarely or never play video games and then if you have that on it'll when the qte comes up it'll show like an arrow and then uh the, that arrow will tell you which way you got to move the stick so the qtes become a lot easier when you know which direction you're supposed to um move the stick because like whenever i played this game i was always getting confused because they like the qtes are not always obvious in the direction they want you to move so yeah that can help if because there are like a couple of other ones that we need to do where you got to do the qtes so um you can always like whenever the qtes come up um or whenever at all really you can just go to the options and then change the difficulty and then change it back if you want so right now we're doing the shooting training uh, i don't really know if this counts as stealth or not but i don't think it does i think this is just like one that's put in there so that you know how to use the gun and then also run the barriers and stuff i don't know because the stealth training is afterwards so i don't know if this is counted as stealth but probably not but i i mean you can't really, the thing for the stealth one is you're not supposed to get caught during the stealth one but this there aren't really anything that can catch you it's just little shooting boards so yeah i don't think you need to worry about this one i think this one you can just do and then the rest are like actual ones that you need to like uh not get caught in so this one i think you can just play through and then it doesn't really matter what you do i don't even know if you can fail it and uh uh fighting physical training and stealth yeah okay this whatever test this is i think this is math but i'm not good at math and i'm not very advanced at all so i don't know i don't even know what the hell this is but i'm i'm guessing that's what it is so i don't you don't need to worry about that either i, I think you can just get the answer wrong I, can't, I don't even know if you can get the answer wrong uh these oil drums this isn't really like uh this you can't fail this no you just gotta push the drums there's no way to fail this so don't worry about this one uh i think next up we have another uh fighting training fight training yeah here we go this one will not have like any tutorials in it so i think oh i think this is the one where i get hit like four times so there's one let's see oh yeah because i kept using the left stick instead of the right stick so there's two <laughs> and that's why i was confused so it's right stick for qtes okay so i've gotten hit twice so far 
three times. Let's see. Four times. Oh, I'm cutting it close. I got hit four times. If I get hit one more time, I'm going to have to redo the whole chapter to get the uh, fight apprentice. But, I mean, this is the clip I'm using, so obviously I do the rest of the f training perfectly. But, I mean, dude... <laughs> I was risking it. Well, yeah. And then, oh, here's another physical training. These also have QTs in it, too, where you gotta, like, duck under the things. Um, oh, also, j you can get away with getting hit in the f uh, fight trainings if it's less than five hits per training. Um, and I think you can also get away with not doing the... Um, physical training perfectly even though it's called perfect soldier but uh because the description says that you have to do most of the physical training uh per well I, we, I don't even remember what the description says yeah complete most of the physical training successfully so not all of it see i just fell off the wall there and so it it kind of cuts you some slack a little bit but with the stealth one you have to not get caught at all when you do it. So that, like, yeah, I, I got caught the first time I did it. So I had to replay the chapter later on when we do chapter select. Oh, chapter select. Yeah. We're going to just, like, play through the whole game first and then get everyone to live and then get a couple endings. And then uh, we'll do another playthrough after that. But before we do that... So there's like two stages. There's stage one and stage two. Stage one uh, is what we're doing right now. It's where we play through the game, have everyone live, and then we get a bunch of other trophies along the way. And then stage two is where we get um, the rest of the endings that we didn't get in stage one, which are just the ones where we everyone has everyone that can die has to be dead. And then uh, we'll also clean up any trophies that we're not missing. Or uh, that we are missing, sorry. Um... And then, but in between that, we'll have like a stage 1.5 where we use chapter select to clean up any trophies that we missed. So if you do fail uh, Fight Apprentice, Perfect Soldier, or Stealth Apprentice, so like any of these training, um, don't worry about it. Just keep following the guide. And then when we get to stage 1.5 and start doing chapter select before we start the second playthrough and start getting um, the trophies that we don't get in the first playthrough, you can use that time. Uh, to chapter select back to a chapter where you messed one up and then you can redo the trophy so yeah don't don't worry about restarting a chapter right when you fail it just keep playing the game oh actually sorry no i should rephrase that if you fail a specific challenge trophy, if you mess up a trophy where it's like um what's a good example like, if you choose the wrong option and you need the specific option to, like, continue through this playthrough, through the stage one playthrough, where we everyone live, like, if you accidentally get someone killed and he everyone lives playthrough, that's when you would restart the check, uh, the chapter. Bef yeah, because playing through the entire game with someone dead, you won't be able to get the uh, everyone lives endings. So that, you're just kind of a restart from wherever you had that person die and that's gonna be annoying anyways we'll talk about that later uh we're on the stealth challenge now i'll explain it as we go so it's you know you know what to do so basically you run up to these first sandbags and then there'll be one soldier walking by Iden will you know um to make a sound with the oil drums and then when the soldier gets close enough you can use a stealth takedown by pressing square and then move up to these uh, crates and run over to the yellow one or actually yeah sorry that was misleading uh use iden to check the positions of the soldiers like before you move around okay and then right when you get to the yellow crate quickly go over to the oil drums and then make a sound with it because if that soldier walks close enough to Jody, you'll get caught, and then you won't be able to get Stealth Apprentice. And that's what happened to me the first time. Uh, I was too slow in uh, making this sound with the oil drum, so you have to be quick. 
And then after you knock out that guard, you can go up to this red crate. Uh, yeah, that's a crate. Then you look around a bit. Uh, we're just going to go to the sta uh, sandbags that are right behind that guard. And then move over to the ladder to the right of that. Also, don't worry about that guard with the red order around him. We're not going to choke him. We're just going to do a stealth takedown because we're going to go up to where he is anyway. So, yeah, so we come to this guard and then you can use a, oh, uh, a stealth takedown on him, wherever his position is. And then you're going to run over to that white crate with the red ladder and just climb up the red ladder. There's two guards left. There's one on the crate that we're climbing up to. He's like right in front of us, like 10 feet in front of us and then there's the one in a, I don't know if you saw him in the bottom left corner but he's right below where we are right now like directly in front of or to our left I guess right below us and you could stealth attack him right now and just knock him out if you get close to the edge and if you see the square option but uh for some reason I try to distract him with the oil drums even though he can't see us because we're too high up and then he walked over to the oil drums, and he was too far away for me to stealth take that. So I had to wait for him to move around, or walk back, so I could use a takedown on him. But basically, when you uh, press square, and he's close enough, you, Judy will just drop down, take him out, and then the stealth challenge will end, because she'll be at the flag. So there you go, Stealth Apprentice, and then Ryan will come up and something stupid, and then the chapter will end after uh, Ryan's like, oh, you caught me, oh man, I, I, I didn't see that coming, and then he'll be like, oh, good job, Judy, welcome to CIA, and then the other two um, trainers will be like, oh, good job, Jody, brilliant, you made it. And then uh, the chapter will end after that. And then you'll get um, any of the three trophies that you did complete successfully. If you didn't, um, like I said, if you didn't complete one, don't worry about it right now. We can go back to it later when we do the chapter select. But uh, yeah, Fight Apprentice, uh, Perfect Soldier, and then Stealth Apprentice are the three that we aim to get from that chapter. So there you go. There's three. Three and one. And then um, we move on to Hunted in the train. So we're just going to skip ahead to when the police actually get, it, um, get onto the train. You're going to want to stand up in your or stand up and then uh, start running from the police. And you'll have to do all the QTEs. And um, I should probably explain the trophy that we're doing. So catch me if you can. To get it, you have to uh, escape from the train without being caught by the police. So basically, you just got to keep running down to the QTE. I didn't see the bag there. That's in QTE where you have to push the stick up. You jump over the bag, but I missed it. It doesn't really matter. Um, Jody just lost her coat. It's kind of annoying. Oh, that QTE, uh, I think you push the stick to the left. Uh, see, I didn't know which way to push the stick. Cause it's just the game's confusing like that. And then you can get, uh, what we need to do is Jody needs to get onto the roof of the train. Um, so she'll try to open the window, but it won't open. And then Iden will smash the glass. And then Jody will stand there for a second. Be, like, I don't know. And then Jody loses her hat. She's losing all her stuff. And then she'll try to get out, but the dude will be there. And then you got to shake your controller. And there's another cute to eat. I missed it. If you get it right, you'll just go straight to the roof of the train. But since I missed it, I have to go fight this guy, which I fail at. And then I hit him again, and then push his face, and then kick him. And then I go into a bathroom, because this guy's going to start shooting at me. He's got terrible aim, by the way. Um, and then if you are in the bathroom like me, then there is a hatch on the ceiling that you can open, but it, it won't be open if you just jump and press at it like Jody's thing, like you're like a complete idiot. Um, you have to get Iden to force it open for you, and then you can get onto the roof. But for those of you who made it out the window on the first try, you'll already be on the roof by now. 
And uh, once you get onto the roof, you have to play a bit of subway surfers and run along the roof of this train while being chased by the police. Oh, look at that. He lost his hat too. What a bozo. Um, yeah, anyways, just run down the top of the train. A bunch of other police officers will climb up, and if you get too close to them, they'll like catch up to you, and you got to do some more QTEs, which I fail at again. Oh, yeah, you're you're gonna wanna um, be able to do at least some of these QTEs so that you can actually get away from the police. Like I'm failing a bunch of them, but I'm doing the bare minimum <laughs> um, to get away from them. So it would be a lot more helpful if you change your difficulty and then you just had the arrows telling you where the QTEs are, which is why I keep bringing that up because it's something that I didn't find out about until like way later in the game. And I was like, oh my god, that would have been more helpful if I knew that earlier. Anyways, um, you just got to keep fighting these police. And eventually, um, you can just... Jody will decide that her best option to get away is to jump off the side of the train. And people who... Like, if it's your first time playing Beyond the Souls, you're like, what the hell is she doing? But... Uh, Aiden will force feel the shield around her. I'm literally spoiling it like a minute before it's about to happen. So I'm just going to stop doing that. Um, anyways. I was going to stop saying anyways. Bro. So this, yeah, she gets surrounded and then Aiden will force field her. And then if you can force field her, she'll land on the ground. And then that's, you'll have the requirements done for catch me if you can. Because... You escaped the train without getting caught by the police. Good job. So there you go. Off the train, and those guys are going away. Uh, oh, another bonus. So, yeah, it, w whether you get caught by the police in the woods or you escape, you'll come up to this highway, and you can use Aiden to come over to this, where, like, where the guardrail is, and beside it, there'll be uh, uh, the fifth bonus. And then... Once, oh, yeah, okay, and then you're gonna steal a motorcycle, and Jody's gonna drive, and there'll be a roadblock, and you gotta force field her. Um, make sure you don't get caught by the police there, because you won't be able to get Aiden's Apocalypse. Basically, here, you have to destroy a gas station, a church, a gun store, and a helicopter in that specific order, because uh, I tried it in a different order, and it wouldn't let me do all of them, so I had to replay the whole chapter, so do it in that specific order. Uh, you gotta take the pump out of the gas station, and it'll spew some oil. And then you gotta possess this swamp guy, and then he'll shoot it, and the gas station will blow up. Um, I think if you just possess the swamp guy before you uh, mess with the pump, he'll just throw a grenade at it and it'll still blow up. But I, I took the pump out anyway. And then you gotta come over to this clock tower over here, and then you gotta angle it weird for some reason. It'll only let you interact if you're at a certain angle. And then you just gotta um, have Aiden use the force on it twice, and then it'll fall down and like crush some SWAT team and then we've got the gas station and the church destroyed and then you just have to come down here where this red aura guy is don't worry about him look at the driver with the orange aura possess him and then once you have the driver possessed you can just make him drive straight into the gun store and then that's how you destroy the gun store and now you can destroy the helicopter oh yeah I already told you to do it in order. Right? I'm, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Jody will ask for help. You can open the door for her. And once she's inside, the helicopter will start flying a bit closer towards uh, the her area, like where she is right now. And then since it's getting closer, you'll be able to go up and interact with the pilot who has an orange aura. So you can possess him and then make him mess around with the controls. I don't really know how a helicopter works, but you can mess with the controls and then it'll go bonkers and then fly straight into the ground and blow up. And then, boom, gas station, church, gun store, and helicopter are all destroyed. So, uh, Aiden's apocalypse will pop at the end of the chapter, which is in like a minute and a half, so don't worry. Jody will come out of the theater and then come over to the smart guy the only smart guy who's not wearing a helmet pick him up by the collar like a school bully and then tell him she wants his lunch money 
Yeah. And then the chapter will end there. And you will get Aiden's Apocalypse. Because we just did that. Oh. And then you'll get the other one that we did earlier on the train. Um, where we escaped the train without being caught. It's called... Oh, what is, Catch Me If You Can. You'll also get Catch Me If You Can. So we get two from that chapter. And then once we complete Hunted, we can move on to... Uh, I forget what comes after Hunted. Uh, 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 oh, oh yeah, My Imaginary Friend. And then in the beginning, we can do Teammates. We got to do three mischievous acts. So go up to the fridge and then ask your mother if you can have a cookie. She will decline and then just tell Aiden to get you one anyway because you're just a complete rule breaker. Um, and then when Aiden gives Jody a cookie... You'll have done your first mischievous act, and then you can just enjoy your cookie. And then the second mischief. Oh my! Hold on, my like head is so itchy. So I gotta. Okay, second mischievous act. Mischievous act you can do is uh, have Aiden uh, rearrange the chairs onto the top of the table, and then Jody's mother will turn around and look at it and say. Oh my, what happened here? And yeah, she'll be freaked out. And Jody will be like, it wasn't me, I swear. It was my invisible friend. And then uh, her mom will be like, don't even worry about it. it, it it's, it's nothing. And then she'll put the chairs back. And uh, that's the second mischievous act that you can do. And then we only need one more. So the third mischievous act that we can do is conveniently also right next to the other two it's this little radio over here you just got to get Aiden to mess with it and it'll like i don't know it'll do something and then jody's mom like oh my god that damn radio we gotta change the <laughs> cassette player i don't know anyways um when jody's asked to go outside uh you can hop into the backyard and have Aiden go around the corner of the house and there'll be this sixth bonus over there and then when you go to the snowball fight, this kid will start pranking you. And you just gotta get Aiden to choke him. And you gotta make sure when you're doing it to hold it until the cutscene plays. So until this happens and he starts swaying his arms like a little weirdo. Uh, I, also, don't feel bad for choking this little kid. Because he's honestly like a complete asshole. Like he just came up to me and punched me in the face. Ow. This kid just punched me in the face. <laughs> no, why? Okay, uh, and then when you finish the uh, My Imaginary Friend chapter, you will get teammates. Easy. And then we can move on to the condenser, where uh, we'll start off with the seventh bonus. It's in the, like, the like right when you go into the building. I don't know. I forget what the building is. But uh, right when you go in, There'll be a room on the right that you go in with Aiden. I don't know if you saw, but the you can kind of see the mist in the corner there. Uh, the bonus is like right behind this counter, but I don't know why. But I'm having so much trouble getting it. Like you can see it right there. Yeah, so I finally interact with it and uh, grab it. So yeah, there's the seventh bonus behind the counter in like the first room of the condenser chapter. And then uh, we also have to get Channeling Master in this chapter, where we have to channel eight of the uh, bodies that we find. So the first one, you'll channel like you have to, because that's how you finish the chapter. Like the, it, the story requires you to channel the first one. So there's one out of eight bodies channeled. And then the second one will be right when we come into like the, the, the downstairs area and open the room. It'll be just on the counter and then you can channel him and that'll be two out of eight bodies channeled. And I think we have another one right after this, yes. So the third one will be right next to the one we just did in the next room, just around the corner of the doorway. And then you can channel that one and then we will have three out of eight three out of eight uh bodies channeled and then whew, this one's taking me forever to get holy god did i i was not like messing with the channeling controls and when i played this game like when i first played uh anyways the fourth one will be uh 
I think this is af oh yeah af it's in the room so in the room that we just got the third body you'll have to like climb into this vent like an imposter and then once you get out of the vent the fourth body that you have to channel will be like right against this desk that we're at so there's the fourth one and then the fifth one will be after you smash the window or uh yeah that's a window what am i talking about so after you smash the window at that table there the fifth one will just be right next to that orange vending machine in the corner i go into iden mode for some reason but you can see the mist coming out of him that's also how you know if you can channel something if there, there'll be mist coming out of it so if you see mist with iden it's either channeling or a bonus so look out for the mist and uh yeah there's the fifth one and th this one too is taking me a long time to channel come on there we go okay so five out of eight bodies channel and i think the sixth one sixth one yeah it's right next to it so just right uh opposite side of the room it's this fireman um and i, I this one you don't have like you can play you can play the game without channeling this one but i think that most people would get this one because it shows you where the uh fire extinguisher is and I, you need it to get past the fire so i think you would have got this one even if i didn't show you and then portal shutdown is another trophy we can get in the condenser and there's four things we have to do to make sure we get portal shut down so the first one is there's a scientist in the corner of the room right after the fireman that we the fireman body that we channeled you either have to completely ignore him and just not walk up to him like i did when i first played or if you do walk up to him he will get possessed by an entity and you have to fight him and do all the qte successfully if you fail them all then you're screwed and you will not get portal shut down um anyway so yeah avoid that scientist if you can if not complete the qtes and then the seventh body will be in the room right after the room after the one he was in and it'll be this little army little army guy yeah so channel the army dude and he'll be the seventh one and then the second thing you need to do for portal shutdown is the room after the army body that we just channeled uh entities will start tossing stuff at you and you gotta do some more qte so you gotta do all these successfully and that's the second thing you need to do to get portal shutdown done because if you fail these uh, i don't know or like if you fail all of them i don't know if you can get portal shutdown done so make sure you get all these done um so after all like the right stick moving QTEs, this wire or cable will pick you up by the throat and you gotta shake your controller violently, might I add, to let yourself free. And then we can move on to the freezer where we'd find the eighth bonus that we need for Explorer. And it's just in the in this room to the left behind this desk. And uh, you just pick that up and there you go. 8 out of 20 bonuses. 20, well, 8 out of 22, but, you know, 8 out of 20 that you need to collect. And then, in the freezer, you'll pick up the key card. And then the third thing you need to do to make sure you get portal shut down is not get um, killed by these frozen, possessed scientists. You gotta do all the QTEs right. And then you have, when Jody's trying to open the door, you'll play as Aiden and you gotta protect her while she's trying to get it open by just one tapping these scientists yeah you just insta kill these guys like uh, i don't really know what's going on there but easy i guess and then the eighth body that you need eighth and final body that you need to channel will be in the room right after uh jody finally manages to open the freezer door that she was getting stuck on and it'll just be this dude that's over here in the chair and you channel him and then you can or you will get channeling master done and that trophy will pop after the chapter is completed so there you go channeling master done and then after we get this body channeled we just have to go shut down the condenser so uh yeah so f go shut down the condenser uh and this is the last thing you need to do for portal shutdown so before you can get to the part where you shut down the condenser, Jody will have to go through like a entity infested area. 
and then she'll like you'll play as her and then like like run through it and then you'll get attacked by um an entity or two and then you gotta switch to or it'll force you to switch to Aiden and then you gotta protect her and you gotta like you actually have to like you have to kill all the entities and if you don't uh, you're not gonna get portal shut down and you're also not gonna get entities master uh, later on in a later chapter because if you don't finish Portal Shutdown right now, then you won't get Entities Master later because there's two requirements for Entities Master, which is you get it in a later chapter. But one of the requirements is that you shut down the condenser in this chapter. And you only shut down the condenser if you have all four requirements done for Portal Shutdown, which is uh, avoid or beat the scientist, um, don't get killed by the floating objects in the one room, uh, don't get killed by the frozen scientists in the uh, freezer, and then don't get killed by the entities in this room. So, if, if you do all those and you survive completely and shut down the condenser, then you will have everything done for portal shutdown, and you'll get that trophy after this chapter. And then you'll have half of what you need to do done for entities master, and then we can worry about the other half um, when we get to the later chapter. So, just continue doing the QTEs until you make it to the little control panel where you shut down the condenser. So yeah. Yeah. Basically make sure Aiden doesn't die. Or what? What am I talking about? Make sure Jody doesn't die as while you're playing as Aiden. And then there's also these like parts where you to jump over. And actually when you jump over those, there's no more QTEs. You just shut down the portal and there you go. And then There'll be some more cutscenes afterwards, but or like one more cutscene actually. We just gotta go see Dawkins or Osborne. But basically, after that, the chapter will end and you will get Portal Shutdown. And then you will also get Channeling Master because we found all the bottles. Bottles. Yeah, we found all the bottles. We found all the bodies down there. Anyways, that was a long one. There's a lot to do in that. Um, so when we move on to the homeless chapter and you finish talking to Stan and you walk out to this place before you do anything go into Aiden and then go around the corner to the left and there'll be ninth bonus that you can collect right there and then once you have that done you and Stan will need to collect some money you can just leave Stan because there's some things we got to do that uh we need to be in a different area for so just tell Stan you're leaving and then you can walk away You'll need to go across this street and you'll know you're in the right place because this little creepy dude will be like, hey baby, can you get some money? And you just refuse. Don't yeah, accept it, obviously. Okay. Hey baby. Looking for a few extra dollars? Don't Maybe even. I can help you out. What do I have to do? I figure I do you a favor. You do me a favor. Ten bucks says you come around the back with me. How about you stick it up your dung hole, man? Not that desperate asshole. Just yeah. Take ten bucks and stick it. Exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> so yeah, that guy will be standing next to an alleyway. So you just completely deny him, or you can just ignore him and walk past him into the alleyway, because in the little like behind the building. There's uh, the tenth bonus that you need. So once you're back here, just bring Aiden out of his shell, and then you can let him pick that up. It's right here next to the little chain link fence. And uh, there you go, ten bonuses. We're halfway done, Explorer. Perfect. Anyways, you can just leave the alleyway after that, and then walk over here, and there'll be a dude with a guitar. You got to use his guitar, and then it'll tell you that you can manually stop right. after a while, but don't stop because you just need to keep playing the guitar until the cutscene no. ends automatically. Like, don't press X to stop it. And then once it ends, Jody will get $15, yeah, and then you can go buy food. And that's gloves. how you get the money to eat trophy. Sure. There you go. Now, uh, I'm going to stop talking now so you can listen to Jody sing and play the guitar. Oh, let's go. I think it'll be good, Jody, to distract yourself, you know, get her mind off of things for a little bit. Have some fun. Enjoy life. Come on, Jody. See what you got. Oh, yeah, tune it. 
Tune it. Tune it. There we go. Now it's in tune. Alright. Oh yeah. Let's get the leg up strum. Oh. Bro. Look at her go. so sweet she has such a beautiful singing voice we love Jody no no I'm s listen to this setting my control down we're not gonna stop we're gonna we're gonna sit back and listen to this for a minute I like I like her singing oh yeah we're making change too thanks man this is the strat we're making money and we're listening to Jody's amazing singing at the same time. W. Oh, she's done. Okay. Thanks for letting me borrow your guitar, man. Wow. Can I have the change? I mean, sorry if you need this, man, but I'm kind of hungry. All right, wait, if we have the option to split it, we can split it. It's his guitar. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that was so sweet. Oh, we do? All right, Stan. Let's get some food, man. Okay, so now that we're lis done listening to Jody sing and me crush on her, uh, you can go do the miracle trophy while we're having dinner with homeless people so we need to reassure tuesday about our baby uh heal jimmy and uh channel stand but make sure you channel stand last because when you do channel stand it'll enter a cutscene and if you do that first then the cutscene won't allow you to heal jimmy and reassure tuesday so tuesday and jimmy first then stand there you go easy do you could just watch what happens don't worry about your baby Everything's all right. How do you know? I know. I saw her. Trust me. you all this time. Oh my God. It breaks my heart to see you so lost, so desperate. It's all right, Nancy. It's so hard. I'm empty with 
without you, my love. I'm so empty. Stop living in the past, Stan. Nothing's gonna change what we had together. But now you have to start a new life. Go back to work. Fall in love. Just be happy again. For me, Stan. Do it for me. God, I miss you. God help me, I miss you. Okay, good job. We became a miracle worker for the homeless people. Anyways, Tuesday has her baby after that, and you have to go rob a store. So make sure when you rob the store that Aiden deactivates the security camera because that will give you the smart thief trophy when the chapter ends. So not a whole lot to do with this uh, little supermarket thingy, but turn off the camera when you do go over there just so you can get the trophy. And then... Um, after you deliver the baby, the house will go on fire and we can start saving people for the um, Everyone Lives trophy. So the first people that, two people that we have to save actually are Walter and Jimmy. So Walter's will be right on the left as soon as Stan leaves the building. Um, and it'll, like, if you try to go upstairs, it'll tell you that Walter's there. Yeah, I mean, you can leave without him, but it'll, the first time you try to go up, it'll tell you Walter's there. So how about I didn't blast his door open and then Walter will run out and be like, you saved me Tuesday and the baby to upstairs. And you guys say, get out of here, Walter. We love Walter, bro. <laughs> anyways, um, God damn it. I keep saying anyways. <coughs> Furthermore, uh, Jimmy will be upstairs. Um, right, like if once you go up the stairs and go around the railing, his door will be, it's that one right in front of us. So, Blast that door open, and then Jimmy, oh yeah, the floor like crumbles there, so careful. Uh, so blast Jimmy's door open, and Jimmy will be stuck on the floor, like the floor gave out, and he's stuck in the corner of the room, and he's too scared to jump across. So what you have to do to save Jimmy is you have to get close to him, and then press x to call out his name and then tell him that he needs to jump and then be like i am scared i'm scared and then jody will be like you can do it and he's like no i'm too scared so he won't jump on his own because he's too scared but if you uh go iden mode you can possess jimmy look at that how convenient and once you've possessed Jimmy, you can just make him jump across. See, look at that, Jimmy. You could have totally made that. Anyways, once he's across, uh, Jimmy will be rescued. And uh, they're the only two that need to be rescued because Stan gets rescued in the cutscene. And I don't even think uh, Tuesday can die in this chapter. So you, you go on to save her, but I don't think she can die anyway. So... You get money to eat at the end because we played with the guitar and got 15 bucks. That's enough money to eat. So there's money to eat unlocked. There's Smart Thief unlocked because we disabled the camera. And then we also get Miracles because we became a miracle work for Tuesday, Jimmy, and Stan. But not Walter because Walter doesn't have any problems. We love Walter. Hashtag Walter Epic. <laughs> Anyways, um, oh god, I forget what this chapter is called. Uh, first Night. So yeah, in first night you make Iden go into the room that Cole's in, and there'll be the 11th bonus right next to those two filing oh, cabinets. And then the lights will start Hello? flickering, and when I first played the game, I was like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, is Iden doing this? Like, am I, am I just is going NBA weird the mode? Like, Wait. What? But uh, when you get close to Jody, she gets attacked by entities, and you just, you have to protect her from all the entities. And 
doing this will get you Entity's Apprentice and the other half of Entity's Master done. And if you did the first half in the uh, condenser, then when you complete this chapter, Entity's Master will pop. So, perfect. How convenient is that, Pog? So yeah, wake up Cole, and he'll be like, Oh my god! Osborne! Osborne! We gotta get in there, man! And then you gotta get in there, too, because you gotta be helping Jody. But I, I didn't realize that at first. I was I was trying to get the door open. I was like, Cole, get in there, man! Um, but that wasn't working, so I was like, Okay, I'll... God damn it, I'll go in there myself and help her. So you just gotta help Jody out. So yeah, you just gotta start like demolishing demolishing yes i i'm just so good at talking today um so demolish all of those entities and um once you do kill all of them and uh you just have to like pretty much you just gotta keep fighting them or killing them or blow i don't know what the hell is going on with these things but whatever you do to them like they kind of just explode so once you explode enough of them, not, no, actually, once you explode them long enough, Cole and the Green Goblin will finally get the door open and make it into the room, and Jody will be safe. So, yeah, if you do kill all the entities and, you know, protect Jody, uh, you'll get Entities Apprentice when the chapter ends, and then if you did turn off the condenser, uh, and then also protect Jody. Uh, protected Jody now. What? Not only will you get Entity's Apprentice, so but you'll weird. also get a. Pr no, you'll also get Entity's Master. When the chapter ends, I was supposed to say you'll get Apprentice Master. And I was like, that made zero sense. Anyways, um, in the like other girls chapter, we're gonna. Um, not go to the bar, which will lock us out of a trophy and a bonus, but trust me, trust the process. Doing this will make getting a trophy, uh, later so much easier, and it'll save us a lot more time, because the trophy and bonus that, uh, bonus that we miss at the bar, we can just get later, and we will get it later. So, just trust the process. Anyways, um, frig, I said it anyways again. So, when uh, Cole is asked to speak don't do not click the speak option do every option except for speak so do avoid um and then jody will make up some stupid excuse then do sad and then she'll change her excuse and the security guard will be like huh and then you have to do um bad mood and then jody will change her excuse again and the security guard will be like hey yo bro what and He'll like walk up and look at Cole, and his eyes will be rolled back, and he'll be like, "Cole, you good?" And he'll grab his shoulder. And uh, if you don't know how possession works, if someone who's possessed gets touched by someone else, the possession stops. So he gets his shoulder tapped, and then you stop possessing Cole. And then Cole's like, uh, "Jody, did you possess me?" And you'll get caught. So that'll help you get the in love with Ryan trophy later on. Anyways. Um, f I keep forgetting what these chapters are called. Oh, this one's Alone. So in Alone, um, another thing that we need to do for Uncontrollable, the fifth out of sixth thing that we need to do, which is also what we need to do to unlock Not My Father, is choke Philip as he walks out of the room. And just like when we were choking that one kid that punched me in the face, <laughs> you have to hold it down, like you have to continue choking him until the cutscene or until it forces you to stop choking him and the cutscene starts if you let go of the thing and stop choking him like midway and the cutscene hasn't started yet it won't count it'll uh it'll count towards not my father but it won't count towards uncontrollable so if you want to get both of them done without messing it up being a weirdo and having to do it again and just have an annoying process just choke him until the cutscene starts just hold it down until it the chapter ends because this is a really short chapter so yeah you choke him and then the chapter will end and you will get not my father because you get that from choking him and then you'll also have the fifth out of sixth thing done for uncontrollable happy birthday more like happy erger oh, what the <laughs> happy erger <laughs>
<laughs> like, what does that even started, mean? I started at someone that said, I hit you with a bookshelf. Who did that?